might, not by power, but by my spirit. And it said, even though you're few, you will, uh, you will have the victory. And so we will worship. Okay.
And this world is empty, pale, and poor. And as we go into this times of uncertainty in, in our country, in our nation, and we look at this election that's coming forward, this is not about the red or the blue or about the people. This is about um, the church getting a shaking. And we thank you, Lord, that you're in control of the situation, that you're separating the, the wheat from the chaff, and that we have to stand in the gap for that, Lord. And as Christians, what we have to do is take the focus off of the men and what's happening down here in this worldly um, realm and put the focus onto you, because you are the one who is in control, and at the end of the day, you know what's going to happen. So, Lord, we just love you and we praise you and we thank that you are in control. We thank you that you did go to the cross and take our yes. sins and give us these opportunities. Yes. And we give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, guys.